So, my last video, I promised that we were going to be making something big because we mined over 40,000 blocks. It took me a long time to do that, over three hours of mining. That's not including the time between me having to get my pickaxe uh, back up to shape. But now it's time to deliver on that promise. So you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of the video because that's where we're going to reveal what we've actually made. But I also want it to be more than just a nice build. I want it to serve a purpose. Uh, Minecraft 1.20 is coming and one of the big changes is bamboo is more viable for building. So I'm building a version 2 of the bamboo farm. So first things first, you can build this right on the ground and any size you want. It doesn't need to be a, a huge sky build. You're going to want to build a platform. This one here is 20 by 20 and this is what we're going to be building our collection system on. It's a standard uh, hopper minecart collection system that we've seen in several builds, uh, including the original bamboo farm. Once you've got that platform built, mine out the three blocks where you'll be collecting the bamboo. The middle fit my design, but you could put it on the side or anywhere else that fits your design. Cover the entire platform with rails. In order for a minecart to keep going, we need to get some powered rails on here. You don't want to place them right beside the hopper, because if you do, the power will block the hopper from working. Once we've got all the rails down, we want to go underneath and place a lever under each powered rail. And by turning on that lever, we supply power to that powered rail. Now, you could also put the chest underneath those hoppers. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with mine to fit my build, but a chest should fit most people's needs. Once we've got all those powered rails powered, go one block up and place another layer of dirt. This does have to be dirt or mud or something that bamboo can grow in. And we're just going to cover everywhere that we have rails. We're going to make a flying machine that's going to cut down the bamboo. So start by placing a non-movable block. In this case, we're using obsidian and we want that obsidian on the second layer above the dirt layer. Then one above that and one to the side, we're going to place an observer facing towards where the bamboo is growing. Behind that observer, place a conductive block. On top of that observer, place a repeater set to two ticks and a piece of redstone feeding into that repeater. Place a trapdoor on the repeater, not on the observer, because that will block our flying machine. Repeat this on the other side, making sure the piston will hit the obsidian. Now, go to the front and place a sticky piston on the obsidian with a slime block in front of it. Then place a sticky piston on that slime block facing the other direction with a slime block in front of that piston. Place a temporary block on the corner of the sticky piston and place an observer on top of that slime block. That way it's looking up and putting its redstone signal down into the slime block. Go to the other side and in front of this observer, do the exact same thing. And that should complete the circuit and the flying machine should fly away. Now, in order to shut this thing off, we want to put a lever onto the block in the back. That allows us to open the gate, which means it won't continue to trigger the observer. Now, place our slime, uh, making sure that we're not moving over 12 blocks. I put 10 blocks of slime on either side of this one. 
Once we've got all that done, we're going to want to make a surrounding layer around the dirt layer. Now, we want to make sure wherever the slime is actually going to pass by, we need a non-movable block. In this case, we're using jack-o'-lanterns because they also produce light, which helps the bamboo grow. But you could use furnaces or obsidian or any other non-movable block. It should look something like this. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and plant your bamboo. Once you got all the bamboo planted, go ahead and flip that switch and watch the flying machine go out and chop down the bamboo. As it is doing that, the hopper minecart underneath will go around and pick up all the bamboo that falls. Now one thing with this is that it will actually shoot bamboo out. So you might want to make a surround to catch it. Due to my design, I was actually able to use water to push everything down to central hoppers. But now, if you made it this far, thank you very much. And it is time for the big reveal. What did I build? One of the games I used to love was a game called Destroy All Humans. Uh, so taking inspiration from that, I made a giant UFO. And as every UFO needs, it needs a, to be beaming up subject matters. Humans, farmers, uh, but in this case, a cow. Uh, so what's happening with the bamboo farm? Droppers pushing things down it. And we've surrounded that with the beam and made uh, cow uh, get beamed up. And if this whole build is a little much for you, maybe you want to try out the original bamboo farm right here. Have a great day.